All right, so in this video, we're talking about canceling common factors of a fraction. Uh, now, this is revision for you. You've done this before. Uh, let's jump straight into it. Here's a question here. 8a squared b over 2a. So the way that I'm going to cancel these out is first to deal with the coefficients, the numbers out the front. So 8 divided by 2, that's going to leave a 4 on the top. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now the letters, we've got a squared divided by a. So that's, if I rewrite this, it's really a times a times a times b, because a times a is a squared, over 2a. So I can cancel out one of the a's. So we've got a squared over a, we're left with a. And there's no b on the bottom, so we end up with 4ab. Now... This second question here is just slightly more complicated. Uh, now, if I'm re, if I'm cancelling factors here, you need to be a little more careful. What a lot of people do in this situation is they look at the three here, they look at the three here, and they cancel them out. Now, you can't you can't do that, and the reason you can't do it is because that's not three times minus nine x; it's three minus nine x. So the alternative method, or the, the method that works, the, the correct method, is to find a common factor at the top first. Factorize the top. So I can take a common factor of 3 out of the top. That's 3 times what makes 3? 1. 3 times what makes negative 9x? That's negative 3x. And the bottom stays the same. Now, if I do that, I end up with 3 times 1 minus 3x divided by 3. I can cancel out the 3 out here now. And what it leaves me with is 1 minus 3x. Don't need the brackets anymore because there's no division there anymore. Might just do one more. So here's my difficult example. 7x minus 21x squared over 14x cubed. Now, again, I can find a common factor up the top. First. Now that common factor will be a number, but also a letter, 7x. So that's 1 minus uh, 3x all over 14x cubed. And now I can look at these, and I can say, right, the 7 and the 14 cancel out, leaving a 2 on the bottom. The x and the x cubed cancel out, leaving an x squared on the bottom. And the top is going to be 1 minus 3x. So 1 minus 3x over 2x squared. There's our answer there. All right, be really, really careful with these. Uh, work through them slowly and check your answers.